it to the location she told me about. Okay. Uh, for that case, we will go ahead and move you and you move you two around Ipen because you guys will run into each other. Vadim will make you a twenty-one now. Alright. And Raggy. Hello. I am so sorry that you got, that you got rolled last for this one. I don't care. Ah, shit. There we go. <laughs> uh, so I said what I'm going to do, but I suppose I should repeat it for everyone else. Uh, R- Ruby's going to... Uh, well, Ruby's definitely got the scent of the dagger. Uh, but also <laughs> examine the body for scents uh, on the room. Uh, and we're going to trace those backward. Okay, very good. So you I go. He was going to go and accuse the mayor. Well, I've accused the mayor for all technical purposes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if I see him around, you know, he's going to get ganked. Just because. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do remember his, you do remember his mausoleum in the graveyard. Do I? Do I? I probably do. Yeah, you uh, hang around the graveyard a lot. You remember yes. the previous mayor's mausoleum. Rather nice looking, too. Made out of white marble. Did I used to chat to him? Oh, yeah, you do. Act, you actually have a nice talk with him every Saturday. Did he talk back? Uh, him, no. Uh, his maggots, yes. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to still go with my original plan of, of uh, somebody moved this body here. I'm assuming it didn't. Uh, I'm assuming he didn't walk voluntarily here without touching people. Uh, and you said he'd only been dead for half hour, so that should leave enough for us. sense that I, I can follow where he came from, or and for, or what Ruby thinks is the scent of the people that forced him here. Okay. Okay. So uh, prepare yourself because this is going to be uh, JoJo's wild, bizarre adventure. <laughs> I've got my loop. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Now, you see, as you exit the cellar, you do go up the stairs. You go through the hallway, and you find yourself up in the area uh, that where you had found the dead body. Uh, you do remember that you are currently carrying, you are carrying Mr. Mysterio's uh, dead body. The one, the human one. The one you promised to bury. Oh, did I? I'm, I'm still carrying that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Well, you could drop him off now if you want, or you could, or you, or you could still bury him. Uh, no, I promise to bury him. We'll bury him properly. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you, you do you wish to put him on Ruby's back so that way he could just ride in style? Yeah, sure. We could both ride in style for a while. Okay, good. All right. So you are going around town. You first go all the way down to the very. Uh, let's see here. Um, you're around here. She's a bit here. Ganon, you're over here. Vadim, I would say you're about right here now. Raggy? Yes. This is the police station. Go back up to the police station, Owen. You, you follow the scent all the way down to the harbor. Excellent. You sniff around. And that leads you to the beach. Joy, oh joy. Yeah. Oh, it's a rather lovely day at the beach. Even when the even when the tentacle comes up out of the water and waves at you. I was gonna say, I'll have sand in my pants when I die. <laughs> <laughs> no no, the tentacle just waves. It waves high. Uh, who do I follow? I can't remember who my oh, the 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 ever yeah. Yeah, no, uh, well, that's fine. Um, oh, I'll, God. Wave, uh, I'll wave back at the technical then, because, uh, you know, uh, I'm, uh, oh, actually, yeah, okay, we'll keep going for a moment. Okay. Uh, and uh, Vic. Yeah. Uh, go more to your left, and you'll find Raggy. <coughs> to my left? Yep. No, no, I mean, uh, you, like, are you going to f- just follow yourself, or are you going to go along with him? Like, are um, you just going to go along with the adventure on your screen, like, just scrolling? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yep, over here. 
There we go. Yep. My bad. Like I said, anyway. I'm switching between two computers. I'm getting <laughs> my brain's going. Ugh. Yeah, every single person has so far seen you uh, walk around town. Uh, Vadim, Ipen, Ganon, and Owen. You go up here. Oh, you find yourself at the destroyed center. Hmm, looks very nice. And you keep going. A bit more over here, and a bit over here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, is that a meat wagon? Good God, he's doing the NES Where's Waldo thing. <laughs> Voto, 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 Voto. You have found the end of the trail. You're in front of a white marble mausoleum. Douglas? Hello? I thought you went back to him. Am no. I about to get killed by a technical? No. What? Oh, that was me you were talking to. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll I'll carry on. Um uh, so the you, sand, the sand need led back to the mausoleum. Okay. Yep. Mm. Oh, well, uh, so I would accuse the former mayor. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, oh, so. Oh, so it's Saturday already. <laughs> so I accuse the former mayor, I'm the one before him. And then I carry on following the scent. Well, you're. you're there. Yeah, you're at the I'm, end. <laughs> oh, the end of the scent? Yep. Uh, so is the scent coming from inside the wheels, Liam, or yep. does it just stop near the entrance, or. It's inside. Okay, and, and where does the set stop? Okay, you go into the mausoleum. It is dark and dank in here as always, but, you know, you kind of uh, like it. That's what dark vision is for, right? Indeed. <laughs> so I'm you go inside. The water vision. I'm not afraid of the night. <laughs> I'm afraid of all the things in the night that I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think Raggy's too stupid to be afraid. No, I, I think it's just about his mind broke a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be my vote. Yep. And, and after I after I gnawed the buggy man's ankle off, slowly over several days, because I was only little at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear lord. It was his fault. He was behind the door. I got up to get something to eat, and he was quicker than the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it so you go inside the mausoleum and you go down the winding staircase you follow the scent fully and you find yourself outside the door of the former mayor okay uh I'll knock and I'll then go in uh give me one second well, at least I didn't get tentacle raped yet. No, whoever wants to go swimming in the harbor in order to figure out what's under there. Of course, I, I, I have to be so very evil about it and just say, Oh, you should go under here. You should go check, check it out. It'll be wonderful. Vic's urge to figure out rising. Curse my lore seeker trait. <laughs> yeah. So, Douglas. Yes. You open the door. I do. You see, you see this dapper fellow on, on the other side. Uh, minus sword. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Oh, God. Whoa. Holy, uh, no. Oh. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, uh, uh, who's that? Uh... That's the former mayor. That's a lich. Oh, well, good. Uh, hopefully I can lose my mind. <laughs> oh, hello again, Raggy. It's wonderful to see you again. Is this Saturday already? Um, I really don't know. It probably is. If it is, then I really should be holding more work. I really should, um, I really need to put the ceremony <laughs> later. 
Do you think I can bring my friends down here to do some worship? Oh, of course. Anytime. You are always welcome in my in my house. You are a wonderful guest, by the way. Now, what do I owe the what do I owe the greatness of your visit, young one? Uh, me and my friends are having a competition. Uh, Ooh, we've got, sounds fun. It is. Uh, we've got to figure out who did this murder, uh, and whoever figures it out first uh, did this dead in. Is that a better word than murder? Yes. Did this dead in of someone. Um, and, um, <laughs> and whoever figures it out first wins a book that they can colour in. Ooh, oh, God. A nice little colouring book. That is wonderful. Oh. It is. So I was sneaky. They were all being clever. I'm using their brains. But I didn't. I used Ruby's nose. So I followed him, uh, and we, and so we, um, uh, we smelled the body. And to be fair, it still smelled quite fresh. I hadn't really got those extra undertones, you know. Like you, you've got so many different flavors. It's really, you know, you come in, uh, and if you could tell you here immediately, you just, you just fill the room uh, with your scent. It's marvelous. What can I say? <laughs> Oh, my lovely, you have a stench upon you. <laughs> well, that sweet, sweet smell of, no of um, um, necro... What is it? Necrophagia? Uh, not sweet, of flesh dying. I can't remember what it's called. Okay. Putrefaction? Yeah, that sweet, sweet smell of putrefaction. Actually, that does smell sweet, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, I... A kind of sickly sweet that makes you want to throw up immediately, but it does smell sweet. <laughs> you, know, you know, when you press that thing that's been dead for a while and water pours everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Throw away your clothes time. Um... <laughs> go, go away. Mm. What's that new aftershave you're wearing? The sweet, sweet smell of long dead flesh. Douglas, quiet. Yes. <laughs> Silence, mortal! I was gonna say, uh, uh, oh, never mind, I won't do that joke. Mm. So, how is it I can help you today? Oh, I was just wondering then, did you dead this guy? No. I can't leave this. I can't leave this place. Remember? Oh, well, that doesn't mean you didn't dead him. I mean, after all, you're one of those clever people, aren't you? You can read and everything. And I bet you can count to two. And I, I think sneakily, you can maybe count to more than two. Uh, <laughs> I'll give him a little wink at the corner of my eye. I won't tell him. Uh, going through his mind right about now is not only air, but currently the thought, oh my dear God, this poor boy is retarded. <laughs> So, if you didn't dead him, do you know why the smell of the people who did dead him came from here? Uh, ex. Well, he, he kind of. You kind of see the glowing orbs in his eyes go down to what is no longer a nose. Explain. Yes. Well, uh, let me put it in alchemical terms. Um, uh, see the, uh, no, I can't, because I don't know the actual words. Shit. Ruby goes, waggy? Uh, yeah, no, um, uh, we smelled, because, you know, I know you don't have, like, a physical nose, but maybe your toes work like that or something. After all, uh, this is a crazy, crazy world where Alves seem to exist. Um, so, I, you know, and I know that you're a clever guy, so I'm not going to put it past you. Maybe you haven't got a nose because you don't need one, because that's all. You put it on your toes. Um, anyway, yeah, no, so uh, in more chemical terms, 
the body was given off several scent compounds, which we've tra- returned back to here. Uh, I've been following them for the last, uh, I don't know, half hour or hour and so around town. Uh, and, uh, and definitely the people who did the dead came from here, because that's what the smell is like. Uh-huh. And to be fair, um, you almost hide it, but you know, uh, I know, uh, but with your lovely, lovely aroma, uh, you must get lots of flies down here with that. <laughs> oh, <certainly. laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Does that annoy you when they fly in one eye and out the other? Because <laughs> you know there was flies... a point. There was a point to this. There was a fucking point to this. Can we go back to that? Because <laughs> flies like dark spaces. Do they like leave eggs inside your skull? Is that why you don't keep your brains there? Um. Uh... Just off the magazine to them. Yeah. Okay. So the dead, the people who did the dead, <laughs> which is okay for me. You know, I'm not stressed about it. I, I mean, he wasn't my friend. I mean, he might be my friend shortly. Uh, but we haven't really had a chat yet, or at least he's quite non-responsive. Um, and I rush rather my friends talk back to me like you, because you're a nice guy, aren't you? Um, but anyway, the people who did the dead in, um, they ca- they came through here. Because um, I can tell, because I can smell it. Uh, have a look back in the past and you'll see. Hmm. <laughs> he is just looking at you very, very blankly right now as he's trying to process every single goddamn thing said to him in the past ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, you, you can actually hear the Windows dial-up theme. AOL. Um, as currently trying to connect. Please wait. And if flies do go in and out of your eye, means, uh, he, cla- uh, he claps his hand together and you shut up. He claps his hand together and you can't talk. <laughs> if you give me a second to think, young one, then maybe I can give you some help. As he as as more air goes through his brain, oh my dear lord, something is definitely wrong with this one. I need to get them the fuck out of here before I die again. Well, that would be a shame. Okay, so you say that they walked through here, correct? Um, uh, they've definitely been through here. I can't uh, I can't tell a lot more than they were uh, they were physically present. Uh, you know what scent is like. I, I can tell where they've been come from, but not uh, not what state they were in when they uh, when they did that. Of course, of course. Uh, let's see here. Do you? Okay. Uh, lead me lead me to the very end end of the scent. Uh, then I will uh, lead him, or Ruby will lead him towards the scent end. Okay, he follows you and Ruby. All the while, still trying to process everything, because... Once you finish processing them, can you tell me, if the flies go in and out, do the spiders set up? And if the spiders do set up, do the cobwebs get in the way of your vision? Young one, I worry about you. <laughs> it seems a valid question. Uh, and I've, I've been trying to think this entire time for a name, and... The only name com- that there's only one name that comes up for him. Only one, and I know someone's gonna give me shit about it, but fuck him. Young sir, the great papyrus worries about you. Yes. Okay. But do not worry, I believe in you. That's good because I believe in me too. I'm fairly confident. If neither of us did, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> That's a that's an understatement. Anyway, you guys go along the <laughs> You guys go along the darkened corridors because Whew, I think that's the GM too. <laughs> I mean seriously, I cannot feel my brain right now. <laughs> that was a trip and a half. Where did you feel the spiders tickle the inside of your skull? Oh, Lord. 
Anyway, so you guys go along the corridors. They're rather dark, but neither of you care. And you get to the final pa final spot of it, which is a dead body. Oh. She accused. I accused <laughs> the dead body of being the murderer. <laughs> Oh, I pick it up by the scruff of the neck and demand it confess. Ah, <laughs> uh, young one. Young one. He pokes your shoulder. Young one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, he's been here longer than I have. Well, that doesn't mean he didn't do it. After all, you're rather ambulatory for a corpse. Yes, but I'm also cursed, so... Oh, cursed, blessed, you know, I mean, depends which way you look at it. The way, the way I look at it is, is, there's only one thing certain in life, and that's it, you die. And you died, and you're still alive, so, you know, you've got to be happy with that. Of course, I will I will note this, that I just stated that he finds a dead body in a mausoleum, and he didn't even blink. He just, like, Jack used! Well, you know. <laughs> It, 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 why, why not cut to the chase? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if that's where is, the, is that where the scent runs out at that mm -hmm. body? At the body. Right. Well, I will demand it confesses and slap it around the face. Uh, you smack the skull, and it turns to dust in your hand. Oh, does this body smell like the scent? No. But the scent stops just at this body. Yes. Or in the area of this body, because it, it can't be too precise. Exactly. Uh, oh. Well, honest, I'll smell all the other bodies around the place. Uh, none, of, the... none of the bodies smell like the smell. But you do find that the casket of the body that you just smacked your oblivion... Exactly. Cough, cough. Oh, I'm starting to accuse the walls yet. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. You don't confess. Oh, shit. He was on a spike, wasn't he? I, 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 um, I accused the stick. Oh, he, wasn't on a, he wasn't on a spike. He was laying on a stone bed. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, why do I think he was on a spike? I've got all uh, Dracula on you. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. So the smell just stops here, and then nothing else, in the, nothing in the room smells like the smell. Well, the bed does. The bed does. And how long does, is, does that bed look old or new? Oh, well, it looks like it's been recently disturbed. Recently disturbed. Uh... Just like the great papyrus. Just like the great papyrus. So, uh, does it look like it's been moved out of here? Uh, no. So it, it's, it's been in here. So am I going to... Well, the thing is, I don't know if Rag is intelligent enough to guess. This was where the... Would, would the murder have occurred here? Hmm? Well, here's the thing. Do you smell blood? I don't know. Do, do I smell blood? I don't know. Do you have a perception check? Uh, yeah, for, well, Ruby, Ruby does. <coughs> Raggy stares unintelligently at the wall. Um... I imagine his eyes go, go unfocused and uh, part ways from each other. No, that's that's normal. Uh, yeah, I got twenty-seven on my perception check. Oh, you smell blood inside the bed. Oh, okay. Which happens I open, to be a casket. I open the. I open. Oh, the bed is a casket. It's a bed. It's a bed casket. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, well, somebody's a cough. Um, so I open the casket. You open the casket and you find the bloody remains of the illusionist. Okay, I, I, uh, do they smell like the person that did this? Uh, they smell like the smell you've been following. Okay, then I, I pick the illusionist up <laughs> by what remains of the scruff of his neck. I'm shaking him about and saying confess, so to slap him and stuff. You feel like you've done this before about 30 minutes ago. And, and under 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 a different form of ground, but you're a bit too stupid in order to realize this. Uh, well, it beats going. It, it beats killing everyone in town. Um, 
Okay, so I uh, this is the illu- this is an illusionist of some kind. Well, I, is it, do I know it's an illusionist? Well, it look it looks exactly like the person that you found in the cellar. Oh, that uh, what? Hang on there. Last week, I'm trying to remember. Last week, that's what you're on about, is it? Uh, the person that was stabbed through the neck, huh? Hung on the pole. The person that you're trying to whose head you accidentally shook off. off. Uh, the guy you're supposed to figure out who murdered him. Oh yeah, so th- so this is the murder victim. Yes. Again. Okay, now I understand. Um, so the the center, following the center of the murder victim leads me to the murder victim. Yep. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I will, uh, seems as I need to follow, I seems as I need to find out who win in this one, in order to find out who win in the, the other one, I will sniff her on the body for a scent, or Ruby will, uh, and follow that scent. Okay, you will, okay, so we'll, we'll move on to the next people here, while you begin looking for that scent. Mm. Ipen's oh. over here, Ganon, you're over here. I accuse him of committing suicide as well, because he killed himself. (laughs) Where were we? (laughs) Okay, you're right in front of the Azimuth shop, and you run into Ganon. Hello. Who just so happened to be going in the same direction as you. Only the opposite Mm -hmm. direction. The shop has been closed down, it looks like. Boarded up, door locked, all the good stuff. Is this where he told me? Where? Yes. I, I said this is the Asimar shop. Okay. Hmm. Is there a window, anything open? No, they're all boarded up. I'm going to look at the door, see that it's boarded up. Mm-hmm. Just well, say it's mm-hmm. it's nicely locked, and I don't know how to lock pick. Mm. So, I'm going to make a new door. Ivan, when disabled device work? Yes. Yep. I'm not trained. Yeah, she's trained. And we're not supposed to be working together. <clears throat> okay. Since you're working together, you happen to be in the same place, and she happens to pick a door. Which the door opens. Well. I was reaching for my Tetsubo, but I suppose I don't have to now. (laughs) Uh. So I think she's going to step right in. Hey, Vic. Hmm? On your overlay, whenever we do a Pathfinder game with Douglas involved... Well, whenever we do a game with Douglas involved, period. You need to update your overlay to have a goddamn Douglas counter. I, I will work on that. <laughs> Could Meowbot do that? <clears throat> um, possibly. I'd have to look into the Meowbot commands. I think it would have to be manual. <sighs> eh, we'll look into it. Anyway, so you're both inside the alchemist shop. It is rather dusty in here. It looks like it has been cleaned in a while. And, yeah, papers, stuff strewn all about over the place. Well. Hmm. Let's start rooting around. That's Uh, perception. Okay. I was going to ask if I needed to roll that as well. Yes. Okay. You're not going to piggyback off my rolls. Oh, fuck. 
Well, Ganon, uh, I say you decide to go upstairs while she looks downstairs. Sure. Con considering your perception role, you would realize <laughs> that most of the important information would probably be upstairs in the office. Mm -hmm. So you go upstairs, and you find the living quarters. Looks rather nice in here. Hmm. You'd have a third home here. Cleaner so, than the downstairs? No. Still dusty as fuck. And it looks like more po papers are strewn about every, like... This looks like Albert Einstein's office. Somebody went through this place. <clears throat> yeah. Except nothing looks disturbed. Hmm. Could be that. Could be that he was just a naturally messy person. <laughs> or that. I was going to say, if they wanted to go through this place, they wouldn't have to try very hard, because all the papers seem to be laying out in the open. Yeah. So, you start looking through the papers, just to see what you can find. Let's see, you find a grocery shopping list, you find a appointments list. Worthless. Uh, you find a list about local monsters... Interesting, but not particularly what I'm looking for. Hmm. Uh, what are you looking for specifically? Actually, wait a minute. Let's go back to the appointments list. What's the last one on it? Uh, let's see. The very last one was set for two days ago. Uh, this is still after his murder, sadly. He was supposed to go on a date with his boyfriend, Sven. It has a lot of hearts around it. Oh, oh that's adorable. Oh. Worthless. Oh. Okay. You heartless cad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what about prior appointments? Any before the murder? Uh, let's see here. He was supposed to meet with the mayor. About taking care of what was in the harbor. But, hmm, before that, it would seem Mysterious Gentleman wishes to speak in Alley. <laughs> Which Alley? Um. I guess it doesn't matter. Well,. High or low? Mm, high this time. You are so lucky. <laughs> like I saw a double. I, I saw a double zero on the other one, and I'm like, "Ooh, he better have rolled a zero on the other one." Zero. Well, he actually lists a specific alley. It's near the harbor. See if we can find any notes about this compound he was <clears throat> making to get rid of the harbor beast. Okay, you start doing that, and Ipen, mm -hmm. you're you're currently downstairs looking around, just looking and looking. Uh, let's see here. You find the main fact that no one has ransacked this place because you find a sack of gold. Sweet. In it is hmm. nine nine platinum. Sweet nine hundred gold. Already. <laughs> Let's see. You also find various various uh herbal remedies and toxics and poisons and horrific things and awesome things and good things and none of it's magical though okay you go look um you go like you look at the you look at the name on the paperwork and it says verge huh and then it says verges snake squeezins <laughs> No, we have no use for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Anyway. It talks about this mis like okay. But you go you go downstairs, you're looking around, when you find him, you when you find a notebook laying on the ground. Behind behind the cabinet. We're just gonna call it a goddamn cabinet because I can't remember what the fuck it's actually called. You find a notebook Counter. behind it. No, no, it's behind it's an actual cabinet area. Like it has a glass front and then it has drawers. A bureau? Why not? Eh, bureau. That works too. Eh, uh, I'm still I'm just gonna say cabinet. Behind the cabinet you actually find squeezed a notebook. I'm gonna reach behind and get the notebook. Oh wait. It's on the floor. No, it's behind the cabinet. Oh, okay. Like it looks like it was haphazardly tossed there. Try to pick try to pick the notebook up. Eh, you're, you're good. You have long enough arms. Right. You're reading through it, and it talks... Well, let's just say you read through many pages, and there's a whole lot of uh, hot, steamy fan fiction. Yowie. Oh. <laughs> With drawings, too. Well done drawings, too. Well. Well. Looks like Verge was, looks like Verge was a bottom. God damn it. What? Who? Who is this one Nah, he was an Azamar. Okay. My god, this is 2,000 years before King Mika. I don't question anything anymore. Indeed. Oh, it talk makes talk of a Tony. Say that again. Makes talk of a Tony. Mm. Mm hmm. Ah, well, whatever the hell it says. It says that he will not accept my advances, even though he's already licked my balls. <laughs> uh, scribbled out. Sorry, wrong, uh, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it says Tony. Uh, 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 well. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. So, I know what Anyway, people... you're going through and you finally reach the actual, uh, the actual alchemical part of it. Mm hmm. And hey, you're looking through, you're looking through, you're looking through. You have no fucking idea what you're reading. <laughs> Why? Because not because only an alchemist can understand alchemical formulae. A wizard can very can a wizard or magus can actually understand it to a point where they can get the spell. But let's just say looking through the formula book, it looks like Greek. <laughs> no, no, it looks like Greek translated to Abyssal, translated to Celestial, then translated to Thessalonian, and then back to Common. Ow. Which currently you're seeing a lot of ones and zeros and a two, you think? I don't know how two doesn't oh, exist. Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? You go right through the alchem alchemical formulas to Eureka, I have finally found it, the perfect for the perfect perfect formulae that I can use to get rid of that monster for finally finally last for taking my wonderful, beautiful my beautiful Tony away from me. Um Beg your pardon, say what? Well, it's a, well. She gets past the formulas and she, and she reads a passage. Eureka! I have finally done it. I have figured out the perfect formula in order to get rid of that monster that took away my wonderful, beautiful Tony away from me. He was so powerful, so thrustful, so menacing. I loved it. <laughs> well, you know. You get Tony drunk enough, you don't know what would happen. He doesn't know what would happen. 
If Karan ever finds out about this notebook, <laughs> Tony will never live it down. <laughs> uh, damn, that son of a bitch has got that destruct, destruct, destruct button. Son of a bitch. She turns a page and she finds an image that has, that is labeled Tony. Give me one second and I will actually give you an image. I was half expecting some more... Some, some well drawn. Oh, it's well drawn. Uh, drawn like one of the French girls. No, 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 no. Not drawn like a French girl. <laughs> Let's see, where did I put that image? Um... <laughs> ah, here it is. I like the Winnie the Pooh one. <laughs> <I've> been... <laughs> this is the image of Tony. <laughs> I'm pocket the notebook. Okay. <clears throat> what? Who said? Who said Tony was going to be human in this world? Mm, fair enough. So yeah, you you found the notebook. It has listed in a formula. After the uh, Eureka, I found the formula. Mm-hmm. And Ganon, upstairs, you're only finding a lot of useless notes. Great. And a lot of drawings. You're going to have to scrub your eyes with bleach later. Uh, rip the drawings up and toss them aside. Well, you try to rip them, but they seem to be made, uh, be made with some really good paper. Fine, then. I'll just crumple them up and t throw them. There you go. But I will be keeping uh, that appointment <coughs> note. The appointments list? Yes. Just because it has the alley listed. <laughs> Is there anything in the back? Uh, no, there's no back. Okay. The shop is what you see. And the house is exactly what you see. Both a mess. Both filled with absolutely nothing important in them whatsoever. So, I think I'm done here. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I believe we we should convene for a short break, so that way people can get some drinks, get some food, uh, use the bathroom if they need to. Uh, wonderful folks at home, please enjoy these commercials as we will return here in just a few moments. Good night. <laughs>